Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Um, the relationship between Benjamin Netanyahu and Obama tends to be a little prickly at times. Israel is used to unconditional, unquestioning support of any action it takes. But Israel is not our only ally in the Middle East. They are not even our best ally. An alliance usually works to the benefit of both parties. Our allegiance with Israel is all one way. We get no benefit from it. They get support, financial help, arms. In return, our best interests are ignored. It is in our best interest that Israel stop building settlements in the Palestinian territories. It is in our best interest that Israel make an effort to create a lasting peace with the Palestinians. As long as Netanyahu is in office, none of that is going to happen. And this complicates our relationships with other Middle East states and makes it harder to deal with Iran. Now the last thing I want to see is Iran with nuclear weapons. But we'd get a lot more support from the other countries in the Middle East, most of whom really don't like Iran, if it wasn't for the intransigence of Israel. See, Netanyahu is a small-minded politician with no real vision of a future for Israel and the area. He is only interested in staying in power. And it is impossible for him to take the kind of risks, the political risks, necessary to create a peaceful long-term future for his country. If things keep going as they are, as the settlements expand, and as the right wing continues to dominate Israeli politics, the Palestinians will lose all hope for any resolution of their situation. The voices of moderation will be silenced, and violence will be seen as their only choice. And this could very easily result in a larger Middle East war. Now, Israel is militarily strong enough to withstand it. But inside Israel are hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions, of Arabs, almost all of whom have the potential to become insurgents. Unquestioning support for the policies of Israel is not only not in our best interests, it's not in Israel's either. Our Christian right unquestioning, unquestioningly supports the Israeli government. Not out of any love for Jews or Israel, but because they see a huge war in the Middle East as a first step toward Armageddon and the second coming of Christ. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want the goal of our foreign policy to be the end of the world. Thanks for listening.